Hi, this video appears as an accompaniment to my article in the October 2015 issue of Rhythm Scene, which is a preview of my pacing masterclass titled Shoulder Anatomy, Easing Pain and Furthering Technique Through Body Mapping. In the article, I talk about the sternoclavicular joint, which is the fourth joint of the arm. It appears where the sternum meets both ends of the clavicle, so it's right in the midline of the body, and it feels like a little dip. You can feel it with your fingers. So one of my favorite physical recognition exercises that I use to just remind myself of the flexibility of this joint is to take the back side of my fingers of one hand, place it there on the joint, and then with my other arm, straight but not tight, from released down low to reach forward and up as if I'm drawing a circle with my fingertips. And as I do that, I can feel the relationship of the end of my clavicle to my sternum change. And that change is, of course, the joint in motion. And you can reach backwards too, which is a completely different sensation. And what's neat is you can feel all of this movement happening under your fingers. And that's showing you and reminding you of how that joint works. So awareness of this fourth joint of the arm really helps us to free our shoulders. And that's really what the class is about, is uh, understanding the structure of the shoulder and how it works with the body so that we can keep it open and prevent injury farther away in our wrists, in our elbows. So that's just one of the things that I'll talk about in my PACE-IT class, which is on Friday at 4 p.m. And I hope to see some of you there. If you want to see the Rhythm Scene article, I'll put a link down in the description underneath the video so you can check that out as well.